and I love traveling around the world, fishing, golfing, and swimming. I love living life. I am happy. I was eight years old, I did want to end my life, just felt hopeless, broken, alone. It's like it was pointless. There's no point to my life, there's no point to going to school. There's, I didn't even think I was even going to be able to go to university, you know. And I, uh, cold, I don't, know, I don't know how to describe it, but it's like bitterness as well. So I have no limbs, but I have my little chicken but drumstick. There are some times in life where you fall down and you feel like you don't have the strength to get back up. Do you think you have hope? Because I tell you, I'm down here, face down, and I have no arms, no legs. It should be impossible for me to get back up, but it's not. You see, I will try 100 times to get up, and if I fail 100 times, if I fail and I give up, do you think that I'm ever going to get up? No. But if I fail, I try again, and again, and again. But I just want you to know that it's not the end. It matters how you're going to finish. Are you so what do you do when strong? you fall down? Get back up. Everybody knows to get back up because if I start walking, I'm not going to get anywhere. write down three things for me, please. I want you to, first of all, write down the word perspective. Perspective. And the word after that, I want you to write underneath it, vision. And then underneath that, I want you to put choices. So perspective, vision, and choices. This is what I'm going to be speaking about. I'm going to be real with you and start from the beginning. I was born in a blessed country. I was born to parents with the support I needed. You see, when I was born, it was such a tragedy. It was such a great shock to everybody. We had ultrasounds done when mum was pregnant with me. I was her firstborn. And my mum made sure that we had the best doctors in Melbourne. My mum was a nurse and delivered hundreds of babies before I was born. She knew exactly what to do and what not to do in her first pregnancy. Yet, having all these precautions, this happened. And anybody who saw me and saw my parents automatically thought that, hey, this is a bad thing. And I mean, for anyone to say that would be a good thing, that is not sane. That would be insane. To say that, hey, congratulations, your baby's born without arms and legs. It was such a, a, just a pause in their life where they couldn't breathe. They couldn't fathom what kind of life is their firstborn son going to live? Without arms and legs, he can't even feed himself. He can't even dress himself. Doctor said I would never be able to stand up, let alone just jump because around. I have no arms and no legs, it doesn't mean that I can't be successful. It doesn't mean that I can't do a business degree like I've done, a Bachelor of Commerce in Financial Planning and Accounting. That didn't stop me. Then what really stops you? Your mind. The way you see your life and where you are going will determine how successful you will be in life. I could say, yeah, I'm a guy without arms and legs, but what? I have my little chicken drumstick. Don't ask yourself and see what you don't have, see what you do have, and then say, okay, this is where I am. But don't limit yourself to say, well, if only I had this, or if only I had that. You can think of all the things that you don't have, but I want to ask you, is that really constructive? No. Why? Because no one can turn back time. It's up to you with what you do with today. Your priorities, your daily agenda will determine how successful you are. You want to know something? I started to be thankful. Thankful? Why, Nick? How could you be thankful? My mum showed me a newspaper article of a young man who had a disability, not similar to mine, but it was also unexplained.